Hello, um, so we are going to work through the Fox problem, and I'm going to stand over here to try to block that little bit of light. Um, I just put up the basic facts. I read through the problem. I put up the basic facts. Um, we know that at a, there's a minimum number of foxes at year equal 2.1. Um, there is a maximum number of foxes a year 5.1. It follows a sinusoidal graph, so I'm going to sketch that in now. Um, I know that it goes here to here, and then it continues. I don't know where it started, but it must be going in an upward trajectory. Um, that's about all I know. So the first question is, write an equation for this. Well, I, I'm going to start with the easy stuff. Um, I know that the middle of my graph is 500, so that's my D. Um, so I'm going to write my equation right here, plus 500. I'm going to use this because that's my maximum, and I can just use a regular cosine. I certainly could use this as my phase shift um, and use a negative cosine function, but I'm just going to stick try to keep this as, as simple as possible. So I know we've got a cosine, and I know that we're going to have a t minus 5.1 plus 500. I still don't have my b. I don't have my a. I know my amplitude is this distance. So it's 300. And my marker is getting bad. So let me change here. 300 cosine. Okay, and then I just have to do my period. I know 2.1 to 5.1, that's three years, and that looks like half my period, so my period is six years. So we remember that 2 pi b equals the period, which is 6, b is 6 over 2 pi, which is 3 over pi, and we know that it's 1 over b here, so it's pi over 3, right? So I know that the number of foxes, the population of foxes as a function of time is this equation. So that's step one. And I'm sorry that that is bleached out a little bit for you, but this is t minus 5.1. Okay, so step uh, or part C, part A was sketch it, part B was come up with the equation, part C it just says Hey, how many foxes were there at t equals 7? Well, t equals 7 is out here somewhere. And so if we drew a line up, we just need to find that value, right? We need to find the y value associated with that. It's as simple as just plugging in t equals 7 here. So I need to solve the equation 300 cosine of pi over 3, t minus 5.1, whoops, not t, 7, right, because that's what we're inputting, um, plus 500. I'm going to do that calculation in a, in a moment on two different videos, um, one with uh, like a graphing thing and another one using the calculator. Um, follow whichever one you want, but I will do that calculation in a little bit, not yet. But i got to solve this, so this is uh, P of 7. And then the last one, it says... When is the fox population become endangered? And it defines endangered as the time when the fox population is less than 300. So I'm guessing that happens between here and here. And my job is to find, I'm going to label them as T1 and T2. I need to find T1 and T2. So what I need to do is... Um, I'm going to graph this. So I'm going to graph a line at y equals 300, and I'm going to graph this equation, p of t, the sinusoidal one, and I'm going to find those intersections to, uh, to do this. And again, I'm going to do that on two different bits of technology, um, and you can choose which ones you want to follow. So in my mind, this problem is basically done except the technology. So um, yeah. Click on one of the next videos, either uh, GeoGebra, I think I'm going to use, and or the calculator one, okay? Thank you.